afternoon ladies and gentlemen we're going to go ahead and continue our tutorials and today we're going to be talking about atomic structure and we're going to go over some basics for our atomic structure so now let's go ahead and take a look at it one of the main things that we're going to be talking about is the Bohr model and the Bohr model was introduced by Niels Bohr and Ernest Rutherford in 1913 and it shows that the atom is a small positively charged nucleus surrounded by electrons that travel in circular orbits around the nucleus. So the reason why the nucleus is positively charged is because protons have a positive charge and neutrons have no charge. So the proton charge would be dominant. And the electrons are located in the electron cloud or the electron ring around the nucleus. So let's take a look at one. So for example, the Bohr model for hydrogen. So if we take a look at hydrogen, hydrogen has one proton. So I'll put my protons in red. And then this first hydrogen has zero neutrons. So I'll go ahead and put that in green so we can know the difference. And then our electrons, hydrogen only has one electron. So how do we know? Because we got one proton, one electron. So now let's fill out our chart. We have one proton, zero neutrons, one electron. Our atomic number is the same as our number of protons. One, so that's going to be one. Our mass number is going to be one plus zero, which is going to give us one because your mass number is your protons plus your neutrons. And then we only have one valence electron. So that's how you make the Bohr model for hydrogen. Let's go ahead and check out another one. If we look, now we have the element sodium. So if we look at sodium, if we look on our periodic table, sodium has 11 protons in the nucleus. And then if we look at the mass number for sodium, it has a mass number of 23. So that lets us know that we have 12 neutrons in the nucleus because 11 protons plus 12 neutrons would give us 23. And since we have 11 protons, we're also going to have 11 electrons. So let's go ahead and put our two electrons on this first ring because that's, that's all it can fit. And then our second ring, we're going to put eight. And then on our third ring, we only need one more. Why? Two plus eight plus one that would give us 11 electrons so 11 protons and 11 electrons now let's go ahead and fill out our chart for the number of protons neutrons electrons and so on and so forth so let's take a look we have 11 protons we have 12 neutrons we have 11 electrons our atomic number is going to be 11 since it's the same as the number of protons our mass number is going to be 23 because because remember protons plus neutrons gives you your mass number and then the number of valence electrons, we only have one valence electron. So there's the Bohr model for sodium. So now we're going to take a look at three more Bohr models, except this time you're actually going to do those and take about 30 seconds a piece on each one. So now let's take a look at the Bohr model for neon, and I give you 30 seconds to go ahead and complete yours, and I'm going to pause the video starting now. All right, we're back, ladies and gentlemen. So let's check and see how you did on yours. So if you looked at neon on the periodic table, neon has 10 protons in the nucleus. And then if you look at neon, if you look at its atomic mass, neon has 10 neutrons in the nucleus. How do we know? Because the atomic mass for neon is 20. So since neon has 10 protons, it's also going to have 10 electrons. So let's go ahead and put our electrons in. Make sure that you're following along to ensure that you have the correct answer or that yours looks like mine. I'm, at, I'm pretty sure that yours will probably look better than mine because my handwriting is not that great. But as long as we get the basic idea or concept. So now let's take a look. We have 10 protons. We have 10 neutrons. We have 10 electrons. Our atomic number is 10 since it's the same as the number of protons. Our mass number is 20. And then we have 8 valence electrons for neon. 
So since neon has eight valence electrons, it is stable. It has a full outer shell. So hopefully, ladies and gentlemen, that's the answer that you got for yours as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at our next one. So now let's make a Bohr model for helium. You have 30 seconds, and I'll pause the video starting now. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. If you've completed yours correctly, then for helium, you put that it had two protons in the nucleus. And then you put that it had two neutrons in the nucleus. So two neutrons. And then you also show that it had two electrons located outside of the nucleus in the electron cloud. So now let's go ahead and fill ours out. We have two protons, we have two neutrons, we have two electrons, our atomic number is two, our mass number is four because two plus two equals four. Then we have two valence electrons and helium is also stable as well. Why? Because you can only fit two electrons in that first orbital ring. And now let's check out our last one. You have 30 seconds to make your Bohr model for calcium and I'll pause the video now. Welcome back ladies and gentlemen. So if you look at calcium, you notice that calcium has 20 protons. And then calcium also has 20 neutrons. And since calcium has 20 protons, it's also going to have 20 electrons. So let's go ahead and put our electrons. Two. I always like to draw my electrons like this just because it shows that electrons are negative. And now for calcium, we have 2 plus 8, that's 10, plus another 8, that's 18. But we need one more ring around calcium. And then in this last ring, we're going to put, show two valence electrons. So now let's go ahead and fill out our chart for calcium. Calcium has 20 protons. 20 neutrons, 20 electrons, the atomic number is 20, same as the number of protons. At mass number, 20 plus 20 gives us 40, and calcium has two valence electrons. So I hope by now you understand how to make Bohr models for different elements on the periodic table. Now let's go ahead and finish off with a quiz. Ladies and gentlemen, what you're going to do is you're going to write down each question for the quiz and then you're going to answer it. You have 10 minutes to do so beginning now. So great. Let's go ahead and go over your quiz that you made and I'm going to go ahead and take my pointer options and I'm going to take it and let's put it back on pin. So what three subatomic particles are located in the nucleus of an atom? On your quiz you should have protons, neutrons, and electrons, so the P for protons, N for neutrons, E for electrons. And then what two subatomic particles are located in the nucleus of an atom? You should have protons and neutrons. What subatomic particle has a positive charge? That's going to be your protons. What has a negative charge? That's going to be your electrons. And then what has neutral or no charge? That's going to be your neutrons, and I use that symbol like so. Number four, electrons are located outside the nucleus in the electron cloud. You calculate the mass number by adding protons plus neutrons for number five. How do you find the number of valence electrons? You look in the outermost ring of an electron cloud. 
7, the number of protons is the same as the atomic number. What subatomic particle is the identity of an element? Well, that would be the number of protons. If your number of protons changes, that means the element changes. Why is the nucleus of an atom positive? Well, protons have a positive charge, and neutrons have no charge. So in the end, you're going to end up with a positive charge overall. And then 10, what two subatomic particles cancel each other out? That would be your protons, since they have a positive charge, and your electrons, since they have a ne negative charge. Remember, positives and negatives cancel each other out. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please let me know what can I do to assist you in the future. And also, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button in below. Take care. Have an awesome day. I'm Travis Spivey signing off with my son Jordan Spivey, and be awesome. Peace.